Good morning. I'm going to read Creepy Carrots for you. Words by Aaron Reynolds. Pictures by Peter Brown. Creepy Carrots. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Krakenhopper Field were the best, fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked a few out on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. Until they started following him. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard the soft, sinister tunk, tunk, tunk of the carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped home a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself. He picked up his toothbrush off the floor and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Whew! Creepy carrots, it was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom, Mom, Jasper screamed, Creepy carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even a regular one. There are no such thing as creepy carrots, Mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it breathing, terrible, carroty breathing, and there it was on his wall. Creepy carrots, he shouted, Dad, Dad! His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the lights. They searched under the bed, no creepy carrots. They looked through the closet, no creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers, no creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That was not going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him, but they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhopper Field. What is he doing? He sure is working hard on that. As the sun finally set across Krakenhopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no tunk, tunk, tunk. There was no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Krakenhopper Field cheered. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into the carrot patch ever again. Yay, they were cheering. They were so happy. And that's the end of Creepy Carrots. Jasper loved his carrots, but the carrots got the best of him, didn't they? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the story.